Okay, so we're on the Active Directory Domain Controller. And I'm going to go ahead and open the Server Manager. And give it just a moment here. Um, and we'll do Add Roles and Features. And we'll do Next. We'll do a feature-based installation. We'll use this server. Um, and we're going to do Active Directory uh, Domain Services. DHCP and DNS. And I think those are the things that we want to do with this particular server. So we'll go ahead and we'll click Next. And then we will click Next. And Next. And you should read through all of these. Um, and we're going to do restart if we need to. And we'll do an install. up here and um, we're going to go ahead and promote this server to a domain controller. We're going to do a, uh, a new forest and our root domain name is going to be metwexp.com and you can uh, choose yours based off of um, your requirements. So we need to type in the uh, super secret restore mode password. Um, this is one that should be different from all of your other when you're doing it in a real life scenario. We're going to leave everything on uh, server 2016 uh, because all the servers in our uh, topology are going to be 2016. If we were mixing this domain controller with servers, um, older servers, like uh, maybe 2008, or et cetera, then we'd have to drop this back um, you know, to uh, you know, like 2008 R2 or whatever our uh, oldest server was. Oldest server that is doing active directory tasks. Um, so we'll do next here. And we're going to skip this. Okay, we'll do next here. Next here. Review everything. Do next. And we're just going to check a bunch of things. You see the progress bar is actually this little line here that moves across here. 
Um, so it'll be just a moment. And we really passed all the prerequisites that we need to pass. We do have a couple of warnings here, but they're not um, things that we need to look at. So we're gonna go ahead and do install. So let's go back in and log back in. And now you see that this is our uh, domain name. I will still use the same password here for the uh, administrator. Now, we have set this up with, uh, our, as our domain controller. We notice that we still have um, configuration tasks to do for DHCP. And we're gonna do that in our next video. That's what this is all about right here, this notification. But now, what we wanna do is uh, go ahead and add our other um, server machines into this uh, domain. This is our Windows 10. So let's go ahead and add our SQL Server in here next. Um, we can do this by uh, going to our Server Manager and configure this local server. And under Work Group, uh, we can click that. We can Click change here and let's say this is a member of domain and N-E-T-W-E-X-P or whatever your uh, domain is. Now that took just a second there uh, but that's kind of normal so we'll uh, we can do administrator and we'll do OK there. Welcome to the N-E-T-W-E-X-P.com domain. And we need to restart and we'll close that and restart. So that's our SQL server added to the domain. We're going to do this for each of the other uh, machines. So let's go to app server here. We'll go down here to then up to server manager. We will do configure this local server, change work group to be a member of netwexp.com. OK on that and again. And we'll add that to the domain. Welcome to the domain. Let's restart. We'll do close. We'll do restart now. We'll go to the RDP server. 
to come down back up to the server manager configure this local server change work group wxp.com Let's also do this for our um, Windows 10 machine. Go to Settings, System, About, Worker School, and join this device to an Active Directory domain. The domain name is www.exe.com. Okay, so we'll create um, administrator as a local administrator account on this machine, and we'll go ahead and restart. Now, whenever you add this to the domain, um, you know, your old account is still on this machine and the stuff that was part of that account is still available on the local machine stuff but um, this will be a new account that's being set up right now which is why you're seeing this go ahead and do the update Go to the desktop, and I'm going to minimize the uh, update. Do OK for the uh, indication that VMware Tools needs to restart. Uh, the other update should um, happen when it needs to. And we'll do and OK. So this machine is now part of the domain. So we're done with this video.